Hey guys, why are you? David here, aka The Creative One. It is Wednesday, March 18th, 2009, and I am here to review a product called The Podium for the original iPhone. What this essentially is, is it's a podium, hence the name, slash tripod, slash dock, um, that is elevated off your desk to give you a good viewing angle of your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, it's available for both the iPhone original, iPhone 3G, and I believe both generations of the iPod Touch. So in this video I'm going to give you a basic overview, my thoughts, and everything I think about it. So first of all, let's look at the um, footprint of it. This is made out of stainless steel, steel I believe, excuse me. Um, so it is pretty heavy, which is good, so it's definitely got some quality to it. It's definitely not a cheap plastic product. Um, here's the front of it. This does pivot. So your iPhone or iPod Touch can be in landscape or portrait view, um, and it and that too feels like a good quality piece. Where is it on the side? It kind of looks like an iMac stand. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Either way, it looks really good next to a cinema display or an iMac. So um, that's a nice little bonus. And back here we have a little hole where the iPod dock cable can uh, go through, which is convenient. So that's cool. So let's get my iPhone in here and then I'll talk further about it. Okay, so here's the podium and here's my iPhone first generation. Literally all you do is clip it in. And I apologize for the bad viewing angle. I don't have my tripod with me, so you have to bear with me. And your iPhone just sits in there. Now is this trustworthy? Um, I wouldn't say totally trust your iPhone in here if you're going to carry it around like this. I don't know why you would, I'm just kind of putting that out there. Because this is easy. To come out as you can see it's not really gripped in there that well so that's just a warning however it is held in there well enough anyway there it is in landscape view you can rotate it to be in portrait view turn my iPhone on um, and like usual you can just use your iPhone use your applications open whatever else you want I'm doing this through my monitor so I don't even know what I just clicked uh, burn ball check it out it's an interesting game um, go back to the home screen. Um, all right, I'm just trying to load something here. Come on, iPhone. There we go. Um, and then that's basically it. I did have a couple instances where the iPhone kind of slipped out by accident, but it, um, it didn't really get damaged or anything. It's just you have to get used to this. But it is very good for texting people. It has a good angle, and you have space back here for your fingers uh, to grip the phone or touch if you use an iPod touch. Um, it's awesome for um, watching movies. There's not many other products out there like it so it's something that you have to appreciate. Here's an Apple Keynote that you, you could watch for instance. Put that down there. And ironically they're showing the iPhone right now. So and there's the iPhone Keynote playing. So that's the iPhone 3.0 Keynote that just happened yesterday. And that's basically it. I mean, there's not much to talk about. It's just a dock for your iPhone. One thing I would like to see is a built-in 30-pin connector. Right now, you have to run your cable through here, which is nice. I mean, it's nice that the hole is even there in the first place. But it would be nice that, I mean, if there was a built-in dock already, so that way it's docked, it's held in, and it's through iTunes already. So um, it's not a big deal, but it, it, is, it is something that I would like to see um, later down the line. I'm, I'm not sure if I covered it, but there's grips on the bottom. So it's very, it's very hard f for this thing to move. You can't really see it due to the viewing angle right now. But if it's on your desk, it's going to stay on your desk, unless you have like a massive earthquake or something and your house goes 90 degrees, which isn't going to happen. So um, I'm just trying to be funny. Fail. But anyway, the product I believe is $68. Um, by the way, this product was sent to me by the good guys at PodiumRevolution.com. So definitely check them out. Sorry, I'm doing this in real time, literally. The Platinum model, model for the original iPhone is $68. So yes, um, I will be honest when I say it's a little on the pricey side. Is it worth $68? 
Unless you really rely on it and you really need it, I wouldn't say it's worth $68. The quality is definitely worth $68, but the usability and everything like that, I don't think it's worth $68, to be honest. Um, it really hurts me to say that because this is a fine product. The quality is very nice, but if you were not to use it every day, I wouldn't say it's worth the price. I believe there's another model called the X-Stand. I'm not sure how much that is, but definitely check that out. Um, as far as I know, they're pretty similar products. I don't know much about the X stand, but I know they serve the same purpose. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this wasn't the most interesting uh, video, but there's only so much I can say about a iPhone stand. So if you are interested in the product, definitely check out PodiumRevolution.com. Um, and if you want more content like this, follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com/slash/TheCreativeOne. Don't forget to check my website at TheCreativeOne.tv. And if you're interested in applying to be a writer for the social blog, definitely apply. Uh, we're always looking for more writers to um, show off their content, blog posts, videos, all that good stuff. So Overall, I say nice product, but it's not really worth $68 as far as I can tell. Thanks for watching. Real quick, one thing I totally forgot to mention, and this may be important to a lot of people, is if you already have an iPhone case, for instance, I use the in-case slider, great case. Um, you should check it out if you haven't already. Here's what my case looks like with the phone on. I mean, my phone looks like with the case on. And it doesn't really fit in the podium with the case. It kind of just slips right out. So that's just a warning. So if you really want your iPhone case on at all times, I don't really recommend this product. But if you like your iPhone naked, as you would call it, I guess, um, then I do suggest checking it out. But maybe not for $68. All right, now I'm done. Thanks for watching.